Good morning. I wanted to hop on yesterday morning. I wanted to get on today um, and share a little bit about changing some habits. Um, see the pack and play that our, our grandkids sometimes sleep in the office that we just painted. So you see, there's nothing on the wall. I haven't gotten everything back up yet. Um, but I wanted to get on um, because I, about three weeks ago, I started reading a book. It's called Change Your Habits, Change Your Life by Thomas Corley. And it's really been impactful, and I'm thankful that I was uh, introduced to it. Um, I started actually started listening to it, and then like a week later, I was able to get it. And for whatever reason, I couldn't get it from Amazon right away. But I started listening to it on Audible, and it was really eye-opening. So I wrote a couple things down um, because it's interesting. So this guy did a study. It's called Thomas Corley is his name. And for five years, he documented activities of 233 wealthy, successful, self-made millionaires and 128 people struggling with poverty. And then he basically, this is kind of summarized it, the habits of the wealthy, the successful, self-made people, and then the people struggling with poverty. And this, he kind of, this book kind of allows you to begin to see where you have some good habits good when, when i say good i mean in line with the successful people or the, the habits that are in line with the, the people in poverty so if you're looking to create you know to, to create a better life for you and your family and you know many of us are you know we're, i'm no different so i'm all, i'm looking constantly to try to improve myself to be to be a better person to be a better father husband health coach all the things um this really was eye-opening for me, and I, and, I'm, and I just want to share because, like, it was it was incredible. Um, and the other thing I like about the book is it allows you to begin today to change your habits, like today. And that has allowed me, you know, and if being honest with myself, I I, I, um, I begin implementing things right away. Um, you can kind of, you know, our habits are like a seesaw when it comes to wealth versus poverty. Many of us, you know, don't do everything right or everything wrong, you know, and so what, what you, we can begin to do is tip the habits toward the success that we're looking for. So that's, um, hi Rose, um, that, that's basically what we're, that's what this entails. So I, I just wanted to hop on. I'm going to say a couple things that just stood out to me. Um, number one, this is a rich habit. They call it, he calls it rich habits. I mean, successful habits, whatever you want to call it. 88% of, of the successful people um, read 30 minutes or more for self-improvement or education per day. 30 minutes of daily aerobic exercise. So, so he goes into talking about what, the, what that, you know, running, walking, elliptical, um, biking, whatever, you know, whatever your body can sustain, um, but just getting out and, and moving. Um, Build relationships with other success-minded people. Pursue your own goals. Like, figure out what your goals are and then pursue those. Um, so basically, you want to dream set, goal set. A couple things that, um, here's some of the, the poor habits that kind of jumped out to me were um, gambling, drinking too much alcohol, watching too much TV, a negative mindset. Um, this, was, this was really incredible to me. This is something I needed to, to do better at. Uh, they don't read. So people that are not as successful, 92% in his study, I'm just, we're just using this, his study, did not read to learn. Of those, 79%, let's see, 79% of those did read, that did read, read for entertainment only. Um, they don't have, to, they, they have toxic relationships. Um, they don't exercise. They eat they eat poorly. So I, I the, the point, I, the, the only point I, that I took from this is if we're being honest with ourselves, we can be, begin to tip that. What's up, what's up, Hofstetter? We can begin to tip that teeter totter in our favor if we're looking to improve ourselves. Um, one thing that really I've, I've implemented, there are a couple of things, but the one that's really been impactful for me is that they, they call it a 5 a.m. club. Um, Successful people get up three hours before their workday starts, you know, and he talks about the 5 a.m. club. And, and if you get up before 5 a.m., you're not reacting to all day long. You, you have time to, you know, a lot of people read, you know, self 
improvement or educational stuff. A lot of people will do their workouts at that time time of day. Um, a lot of people will do their planning for the day. So you're not wait, waking up and immediately going to reaction. You're just reacting to everything that happens because you, you've got a plan for a day. Hey mom, Nancy Walters, how are you? Um, it, it just gives you an opportunity to start your day with some control, some peace, and, and, and just get ready for your day. And that, that, so I haven't started to do that. And it talks about, and he talks about creating, um, having an accountability partner, a partner when it comes to that 5 a.m. club. Because I'll be honest with you, I don't get up at 5 a.m. or I wasn't getting up at 5 a.m. before. And now, I, my brother Scott um, has been texting me. So we kind of hold each other accountable. And he's been helping me get out of bed in the morning. And by doing so, like I'm getting a lot more done first thing in the morning. And it's just incredible. It's, it's Because of that, a lot more things are getting done. I'm ready for the day. Um, have an opportunity, like when the grandkids spend the night, I get everything out of the way that I want. And it frees me up to spend, be present with them when they wake up. You know, 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm I'm doing what I want to do or, you know, what I plan for do for the day. And then when they get up at 7 or 7.30, Guess where I'm at? I'm present. I'm not worrying about, oh, crap, I didn't get this done already. This, you know, so it's just created a lot of impact for me already, just in a couple of weeks. And so I just wanted to share because what, what I know is this. If we're trying to improve ourselves, we're trying to improve our lives, we can do that. And what this book has allowed me to do is not only does it tell you what the habits are, but it gives you steps and plans for, for implementing them almost immediately and, and start tipping that teeter-totter in favor of, success in direction you want to go so that that's all i just want to get on and share that and i'm just i'm thankful for it and i i hope somebody else can use it um and everyone you have an amazing day